such high hopes for Blair Wynn this year. And this is a guy set for a breakout year as a senior. And a guy getting his shot, exploded upon the scene. It's a story of hard work and hard perseverance. Work and perseverance and perseverance. St. Joe's backed up in the shadow of their own goalpost. Second down, and about 13, a huge hole, off tackle. Quick hitter that time from St. Joseph Blair Wynn carried the football. And not a lot of opportunity with all the backs they had last year. Adams going to pit, Bo Harness, and then Blair Wynn as a junior just kind of waiting his turn. And now his turn is this year, put in a real good offseason you know, to get ready for this year. They expect big things from him this year. And they give it to the first man through. That's Blair Wynn. He's got a head of steam inside the 10 yard line. Brilliantly executed by the Green Knights. Tony Carson's told me this week about number 27. He's become one of my favorites because he's done everything we've asked him. He's taken the reps, he's blossomed. All the work in the off season. Look at Blair Wynn explode through the hole right there. Here's a big hole up the middle. Blair Wynn gets to the corner, across the 50, 40 yard line, to the 30, the 20, the 10, five, touchdown, St. Joseph. Well, Blair Wynn's father, Greg, told me after their final scrimmage against Montclair that Blair's gonna play with a chip on his shoulder this year. He wanted an opportunity last year, and here goes that chip down the sidelines, baby. 70 plus yards for Blair Wynn.